What is normal blood sugar? This topic 100% applies to you. If you want to avoid disease in your future, if you want to look good, if you want to lose weight, and if you also want to feel good, you have to pay attention to what your blood sugar is doing. The reason that this topic applies to everyone is because we live in a high sugar world today. It's estimated that the average person consumes over 130 pounds of sugar per year, which is 26 times more than our ancestors used to consume 100 years ago. And I bet you that disease has also gone up 20, more than 26 times because of this problem of your blood sugar being high. So what I wanna show you today is what is normal and what is bad. And I wanna really break it down as to what test your doctor would run so that you can understand those numbers. And then also one that you can run right in the comfort of your home and follow your blood sugar on a regular basis. So let's start with normal here. Now, when we look at normal, we're looking at below or at 5.7. Okay, so this is your A1C reading. This A1C reading is referred to as glycosylated hemoglobin test, okay? And your doctor will do a blood test and give you this number. If it's 5.7 or below, it's normal. And then this is going to be the number you would get if you were to go to a pharmacy, get a glucose meter, and test your own blood sugar at home. Simply what you do is you fast for eight hours, get that little prick, you could do it first thing in the morning, put that little prick into your finger, get that little dab of blood on, it tells you what your blood sugar is, pretty cool. Now, if it's 99 or below, then that means that you are at normal blood sugar. Now, this is what normal is. That means that the insulin from the pancreas is balanced. The pancreas is producing insulin effectively, efficiently, and it also means that insulin is shuttling blood sugar into the cell effectively and efficiently. So now we look at prediabetes and this is when things start to go bad, okay? This is a, you know, start paying attention because you're headed down a bad path, a path that leads to insulin resistance, a path that leads to heart disease and cholesterol issues and fatty liver and excessive weight gain right? So pre-diabetes, you go to your doctor and they do this A1C test. If you fall between 5.7 and 6.4, then that means you're pre-diabetic. Now, if you fall between 100 and 125 on that simple at-home blood sugar test, then that means that you are also pre-diabetic. So we got to start making some changes, start thinking about a sugar-free diet. And one of the things that people often say to me is, well, Dr. Zorowski, don't you need sugar for energy? The answer is no, your body is smart. Your body can get sugar from protein. It can get sugar from fats. Your body knows how to take these different foods and convert it into energy. You don't have to be adding in added sugar to your diet. And also, you can also break down carbs. And we look at just the average diet out there. People are consuming over 300 grams or more of carbohydrates per day. That is more than enough sugar. You didn't even need the added sugar, which comes in over 70% of prepackaged foods. Now let's look at diabetes, okay? Because this is another number. Well, now we really, red flags going up, we gotta pay attention. 6.5 or above on that A1C test, that means you're a diabetic, type two. And then also, if you're doing the at-home test, 126 or above, okay? So this is where we really can fully understand our blood sugar so that we can make proper changes and reverse it. And let me tell you, if anybody ever tells you that you cannot reverse type two diabetes or pre-diabetes, then run the other direction because you certainly can. And we have to really, really you know, pay attention if we're in this pre-diabetic state because it's estimated that 84 million people unknowingly are pre-diabetic. And within five to 10 years, there'll be full-blown type two diabetics. So we wanna focus on reversing this. Now, as I said, you can reverse this. Many people believe that, well, I gotta take metformin for the rest of my life. You do not. You can reverse this and you should focus on that. Like I said, that sugar-free diet is gonna be very important. There's another concept that I think is important to understand here. And this is reactive hypoglycemia. A lot of people who try to fast, for the first time. A lot of people who have blood sugar instability, they go through these huge blood sugar swings. So what happens is they go and they eat this meal and they eat lots of carbs and things that they really enjoy eating and their blood sugar just spikes right up, right? But then they have another problem because with that huge peak 
in their blood sugar also comes huge dips. At this huge peak, the pancreas produces tons of insulin. And with all that insulin in the body, essentially it pushes that blood sugar down, but it pushes it too low, right? So your blood sugar is high, the body reacted, and now it pushes you down into this hypoglycemic state. And this is where you're starting to get dizzy and you get brain fog and you don't feel well. Things start to look pretty bad for you right in this area. The answer here, is not going and getting a candy bar, okay? And this is why I see so many people go, well, you know, actually my blood sugar goes low. It goes so low and that's that means that I don't have insulin resistance. No, 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 no. That means that you're going through spikes and you're going through dips, okay? So how do you fix this problem? Going on that sugar-free diet and focusing on just having smooth and steady blood sugar. Take the carbs, the high carbs out of your meals. Take the sugar, the added sugar, out of your meals. Focus on eating a diet high in fats, moderate in protein, low in carbohydrates, and that will be your answer. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, I think you'll really like this video here next.